Hell in a Very Small Place, The Siege of Dain Bien Phu, by Bernard B. Fall is a powerful and insightful historical account that delves into one of the most significant battles of the First Indochina War, the Siege of Dain Bien Phu. Through meticulous research and a masterful narrative style, Fall provides a comprehensive analysis of the events leading up to and during the battle, offering a nuanced understanding of the military, political, and human dimensions of this brutal conflict. Published in 1967, Fall's work is considered a seminal piece of scholarship on the Vietnam War, and it continues to be a valuable resource for historians and those interested in understanding the complexities of modern warfare and insurgency. The book is structured chronologically, beginning with an overview of the First Indochina War, which sets the stage for the climactic battle at Dain Bien Phu. Fall paints a vivid picture of the geopolitical context in which this conflict unfolded, emphasizing the struggle for Vietnamese independence against the French colonial forces and the subsequent involvement of the United States. One of the strengths of Fall's analysis is his attention to detail. He provides a thorough examination of the military strategy and tactics employed by both the French and the Viet Minh forces. The author meticulously describes the development of the French defense perimeter at Dain Bien Phu, its vulnerabilities, and the flawed decision-making that led to the French being trapped in an indefensible position. This level of detail allows readers to appreciate the strategic blunders and miscalculations that ultimately sealed the fate of the French garrison. Fall also offers a close look at the personalities of the key military and political figures involved, particularly French Colonel Christian de Castries and Viet Minh General Vo Nguyen Jaya. By presenting these leaders in a nuanced light, Fall helps readers understand the human dimensions of the battle, the pressures they faced, and the consequences of their decisions. Jayap's patient and adaptive approach to siege warfare and Castries' leadership challenges within the beleaguered garrison are portrayed vividly. Moreover, Fall delves into the experiences of the soldiers on both sides of the conflict. He provides a harrowing portrayal of the conditions within Dain Bien Phu, where French troops endured relentless shelling, disease, and malnutrition. The vivid descriptions of the suffering endured by these soldiers serve as a stark reminder of the human cost of war. This personal dimension adds depth to the historical account and evokes empathy from the readers. Fall also offers valuable insights into the political and diplomatic aspects of the conflict. He elucidates the role of the United States, which provided financial and logistical support to the French, and discusses the broader implications of the First Indochina War within the context of the Cold War. This analysis sheds light on the global significance of a seemingly localized conflict and the complex interplay of political interests. One of the book's most notable achievements is its exploration of the impact of terrain and climate on the course of the battle. Fall emphasizes how the geography of Dain Bien Phu, with its rugged terrain and monsoon season, influenced military operations and significantly contributed to the French garrison's isolation and vulnerability. This ecological perspective adds a unique dimension to the analysis, illustrating how nature itself became a formidable adversary in the conflict. Throughout the narrative, Fall's writing is evocative and engaging. He seamlessly weaves together historical accounts, first-hand testimonies, and his own analysis, creating a compelling and vivid portrayal of the events. His prose captures the intensity and chaos of the battlefield, enabling readers to vicariously experience the horrors and challenges faced by those involved. The book's enduring relevance lies in its ability to transcend the specific historical context of the First Indochina War. While it offers a comprehensive analysis of the battle, it also serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of foreign military interventions and the challenges of asymmetric warfare. 
This is particularly significant in light of subsequent conflicts, such as the Vietnam War, where the lessons of Dien Bien Phu were seemingly ignored by foreign powers. In conclusion, Hell in a Very Small Place, The Siege of Dien Bien Phu by Bernard B. Fall is a masterful work of historical analysis. It skillfully combines military strategy, political context, and human experiences to provide a comprehensive understanding of the siege of Dien Bien Phu. Fall's meticulous research and vivid storytelling make this book an essential read for anyone interested in the complexities of modern warfare, insurgency, and the enduring impact of historical events. Through its nuanced portrayal of the battle, the book continues to offer valuable insights and lessons, making it a timeless contribution to the study of conflict and its consequences.